Hey everyone, Schematist here. So, um, by popular request, I was asked to do another tutorial, which I really don't mind. In fact, I really do love making these as long as I can help. Um, I'm gonna get right into it. So, but, but before I get into it, let me not get assassinated and say there is no real right or wrong way to do this. Um, if I'm doing something that you do not like, please switch it up. That's, that's the fun part. You know, don't kill me for it. I mean, I'm just showing you a way that works for me. Hopefully it works for you. If not, that's all right. It's supposed to work like that. You know, we all have our different kind of um, opinions. So that works. So let's get right into this. Um, this is a classic RPG battle theme. So usually every single one of them has that intro that kind of sets up the rest of the song. And the intro is, I actually marked it here, which is perfect. I'm going to play the first part of it with no instruments except for the bass and the kicks. My kick pattern was very very simple. In fact it's just a regular, um, if you go to my kicks you can see it's just a kick 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 kind of tempo. I'll play that. Yeah it's not really crazy. I did make a quick variation here on this pattern right here. I added um, the, uh, the ride so it kind of, let me see how that sounds. Yeah, that, that kind of adds like a little bit of a rock element almost. So my bass, I love I love bass lines. That's actually my favorite part of making music, to be honest. Um, a really deep and driving bass. It's subtle but effective. And here's the pattern for that now. See. That's all you have to do. And then that's going to set up for the next bass pattern three here, which I have. And then, you know, the next drum patterns down the line. And then the real melody of the song. But this is still really, really dry. So I'm going to start filling in these instruments one step at a time to help add some body to that intro to make it more lively. The first thing I would say is you're going to want a lead instrument somewhere in there or like a backup instrument to help out the bass and the, um, the drums that are going. So I use like a little guitar, like a synth-like guitar, and um, with that it sounds really, really, actually almost plain. It's almost there, but it, it's a big step up, and that's the sound here. Now, it's almost there. It's, what it's missing is that kind of... Um, build up that kind of launches the song to its, to, I, I call it, you know, the boiling point, where it gets so high up it's ready to come back down. And I use these strings to make it happen. The string pattern is very short and simple, but it adds that little bit of a rush right before the song is ready to go to the next beat, the next movement. And that's like, oh, okay, well, we've reached the climax. I guess we're gonna fight now. So. The bells here also help that situation, and this is also a very simple pattern, but effective. With all of these together, the complete sound... Oh, actually, I actually forgot about the crash. The crash is actually pretty important, too. I have to say, usually when you take a crash, I'm going to make this example now, you might pull it out... Um, yeah, you might pull it out and it'll look just like this, plain. This blue bar here is actually an automation of the volume of this because this just standing by itself is really, really loud. So what you do is when you put the um, the crash um, section here, you want to click this top left left button here and then you want to go to automate. Then you just click volume and then you'll come up, they'll um, put something like this on the um, on your map and then you can just sync it up and you can move that blue bar however you would like. You can raise it up, raise it down. You just want to uh, just kind of control the volume on those crashes because they're extremely, extremely loud. So now the whole intro sounds about like this.
in this main melody section, the main thing that I changed was the drum pattern. I made it a little bit um, slower paced. I added a piano melody going on here, which is not too crazy, but it adds some background um, fill-ins that kind of support the song and, and uh, kind of hold the main beat. And then that kind of just plays throughout until it's ready to, to, to settle down. The trumpet was an awesome addition, but it was um not, not a crazy pattern at all, just something to also hold the main beat, and that's this. Yeah, not too crazy. A little dronish, a little sad, a little somber, but with everything moving at the same pace, you know, at a decent pace, and I pretty much give all my credit to the bass line that's kind of moving the song, because without it, it would be kind of boring. The bass is really like my driving point. And also, the spiccato pattern, this was an addition that kind of heightens the emotion of the battle itself. See that? So with all these working together you kind of get that, that, that battle feeling. The next thing would have to be you know this bridge section which is pretty much the song coming to its close because once you finish the bridge then you just have to break it down which I have done here, and then come to the loop. But I'm getting too far ahead. Let's listen to the bridge. See, the bridge is not too bad either. I actually took the same bass from the main melody, as you can see, bass number three here, and bass number three here. So I kept that same bass, played with the drum patterns a little bit, still not too crazy, I made subtle changes to them, um, kept the crashes in the same consistent pace. I changed up the, spica the spiccato strings, actually. And so that way it didn't get too stale, because I already had two of the same pattern playing back to back. If I did that again, it would sound a little bit boring and a little bit too, um, I guess you would see it coming. So then it would take away the surprise factor. When you switch up those strings, it sends a different message. So here's the new, the, uh, the new um, pattern that I switched it up for. See that? It's subtle, but it's different, and it adds a little bit of variation which creates more movement. Uh, the other big change was the lead flute. Again, not a crazy pattern, but something that holds the, the, uh, the song together and pushes it to a certain um, battle-esque um, emotion. And right after that, we come straight into the breakdown. The breakdown sections, I have three here, but they're more or less the same thing. I took, that's pretty much me slowing down the bass completely and bringing the song to a more somber, mellow tone. I kind of think of this as the part where, you know, you're trying to cycle through your items or, you know, the, the fight's dragging on, maybe it's a harder enemy. So it's a little bit more depressing and it's not as upbeat. So I'm going to play the, uh, the three breakdowns in succession.
and that's it. So to look through these breakdowns, the main element I would say to breaking down a song is the bass and maybe like some supporting synths, which I have down here, this trans synth. This synth is really, really a big key factor in, in highlighting this kind of slowdown of the song. Listen to this really quick by itself. It's like a pulse, like almost like a heartbeat. Really, really slow, steady, your heart's slowing down. And the same thing with this bass here. It kind of just, it's a pulse. Attention. And then that kind of, and I switched up from that bass and go into bass number five, which is a little bit more um, intensified, but still not happy at all. It's a little darker. And I use that to kind of say, listen, you're in a battle, it's getting a little serious, but you can still pull through it if, you know, you, you keep your tactics about you. And then, again, I used another synth, well, the, the, um, the pad here, I call it, and it's just to hold, um, hold the song in place and kind of create that area spatial effect. And boom. The only thing that I really changed up here really was the uh with those particular patterns. The synth um flute I switched up to make it a little bit more depressing and, and somber as well. And boom, I feel like at the end of that, oh, I forgot about the spiccato strings here. Nothing crazy here at all, actually. Again, a pulse. Try to mimic a heartbeat. And then that's the end of that breakdown. And then the fun thing about the breakdown is once you have it at the end, you're ready to call it a day, especially if you're making a short battle theme. So. As you can see, the build-up is where the song kind of takes a turn and just starts going back to the loop in which it started. And here's how that's going to sound. See? And that's about the end of that. And that, that sounds familiar. Um, hopefully this helped. Um, I'm not sure if it did, but um, I'm just trying to ignite some passion. And uh, again, don't kill me. If, it, if I did something that doesn't work, it's okay. Just modify it. That's the fun part. Um, this was pretty much, like I said, this was inspired by um, Avi Tran. That work on Creamore. If you haven't seen that game, go see it. I would recommend it. The music sounds fantastic and the artwork is phenomenal. And um, that's it. I'm signing out for now. Hope this helped.